Bob obviously hangs out with Fred and what was your guy's name? Jeremy. Because he thinks the same things pretty much. <laughs> I, mean, I think they're having a drink after work and just chatting about this because fundamentally everything you said we've kind of said. Ours is a managing editor, so he's worried about, worried about money. So essentially Bob is feeling pressure from above. The shareholders are owners up and I'm not going to answer that. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I did answer it. <laughs> you did it? <laughs> Sorry. Um, Okay, he's, I'm getting pressure from above myself here. <laughs> he's, he's got pressure from above and he's getting pressure from below. He's got complaints from journalists that they're overworked, they're doing things they've never done before. And uh, for example, I mean, I was told that people, a film crew used to go out with 10 people. We now go out with two in the television. They used to have always people doing stuff, it's now two people. So the people are doing overworked, so they're complaining about stuff. And what else he's hearing is hearing new trends. So this kind of, this kind of, Seeks into how he's feeling. He's feeling a little bit worried with his job security because he's kind of losing touch a little bit. So there's a kind of stress of of basically where he's going with his position. So he is considering early retirement because he's in his fifties. He think, well, maybe maybe it's time for me to move on. You know, get that little house in the country. But he's also considering alternatives because he's looking to that. Now what he's seeing is developments from competition. They're they're on the ball. The fast pace of change. He's seeing that all the time. And he's also potentially seeing a de decrease in circulation because people are buying less newspapers, which means decrease in revenues. But at the same time, he is seeing opportunities. An example that they came up with was um, the Daily Mail has created an online presence which is almost different from their, their actual paper presence. And it's making money on its own. So that's an opportunity. So what he's doing, uh, he's exploring new opportunities. He's also making excuses and rationalizing it because he's, he's got to try and go, explain what he's doing up above. And he's also trying to create an impression that he's doing something. Because <laughs> he's got to be, looks like he's on the ball. So he's trying to get, but he's also pulling in consultants, which could be a business model. I mean, he needs to, to look outside the enterprise to find ways of doing things better with the resources they have to use things more effectively. So consultants are going to be an important figure in this, in this ecosystem to pull them in. So to summarize, it's pressure from above. It's complaints from below. It sounds like a song, doesn't it? You know, jokers to the left of me, falls to the right. And stuck in the middle with me is uncertainty. That's that's the that thing. But the gains are potentially he could he could achieve success with this. I mean he could really pull this fire out of the hat. He could rebrand the company and explore new avenues. And the second gain is it's tied to the first one, it's getting new knowledge, learning new skills and becoming taking ownership of this new these new media forms. You said comfort, but I'm not so sure about comfort. I don't know what you mean by comfort. Basically, <laughs> just feeling happier in himself because he's now doing it properly, taking uh, uh, taking advantage of these new opportunities and solving the problems. Okay. Here we go. We're done. <laughs>